It's now my honor to give the floor to the Secretary General of the United Nations, His Excellency, Mr. Ban Ki-moon. Your Excellency, uh, Mr. Peter Thompson, President of the General Assembly, Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, we come together to pay tribute to the life and legacy of His Majesty King Bumibol Adulyadej Ramat IX of Thailand, the world's longest reigning monarch. On behalf of the United Nations, I once again express most profound condolences to Her Majesty Queen Sirikit, the royal family, the government of Thailand, and the Thai people. A visionary and humanitarian, King Bumibol was loved and revered by the people of Thailand and respected around the world. I had the honor of meeting King Bumibol during a visit to Thailand in 2007 and long admired his dedication to improving his country and the lives of its people, particularly the most vulnerable. Throughout seven decades, King Bumibol served as a stabilizing force in Thailand, notably during times of political turmoil and tensions. The outpouring of grief from the Thai people on his passing is a testimony to the king's tremendous, tremendous influence across the country and recognition of his lifelong work to better the lives of his people. King Bumibol's commitment to sustainable development and national resilience helped to move the country through its various development phases and towards becoming a vibrant economy. In recognition of his work, King Bumibol was awarded the first United Nations Human Development Lifetime Achievement Award in 2006. The United Nations recognizes and pays tribute to the remarkable life that His Majesty King Bumibol led and joins all those who love the revered king in offering heartfelt condolences. In the spirit of the late king, the United Nations looks forward to further strengthening the partnership with the royal Thai government and the people of Thailand to advance democracy, development, peace, and human rights for all. Thank you.